If you want to convert your artwork into a template, it's really easy. Just go to the file, create template from image, and then this window appears, okay? Just give it a name, for example, crayons. And you can see how I can go to a different groups and I can create uh, another group. But I go to the Tradigital and I select Tradigital and then my crayons template will go here, okay? I can also use um, custom image, but in, the in this case, I'm going to leave this as a blank preview. So I click and accept, and then I can close this, and I go to the file, new, and then in Tradigital, I have my crayons template. So if I use this template, I have everything set up to be used correctly. One of the good things about this kind of uh, template uh, with the fill layer option that I'm using right here, you can see the icon, the fill layer, is that I can change my texture really easy this way. I can use another texture as a paper and then. But for now, I'm gonna leave as it is. Another good thing about this uh, template is that I can crop the image so I can use something like this with this option selected, the grow option and click on accept and I get this. But imagine I want to duplicate the size or crop and resize. So I can use the tool and just select this and click on accept and you have the image and you have the texture. So the texture is covering the entire image. Isn't it cool? Okay, so here we go with the painting. I start with the circles and primitive shapes, so nothing fancy, but really useful. If you want to draw things for your kids, <laughs> don't be shy and draw whatever, because the kids are not aware of the quality of your paintings. They want to have fun, that's it. In my case, I am very oriented to detail, so it has been interesting to see how I react to that change. Flow or fluid movement in the brushstroke adds dynamism. As you can see, the dog is paying attention on something. So what is on his right side? We will see it in a moment. I was surrounded by dogs in my childhood. I love dogs and I think I miss a lot to share my new life with some of them. I am painting a little girl enjoying his friend. It's amazing how strongly you can connect with an animal. But I want to draw a restless, naughty and creative girl. She's looking like analyzing and thinking what I love about my friend is... And then she draw this sketch. And I imagine the dog waiting for her to finish because he wants to play with her. The proportions are not realistic because this is more cartoony than my usual paintings. Now I just add a couple of details and the idea is done. I have my main characters and now they need friends that guide your attention to them. I will paint a bird. Yeah, a bird, because my father filled the house with them. Pigeons, canaries, goldfinches, and notice one thing. As the bird is looking to the painting, your eyes goes in that direction. The environment is quite simple. Some grass, clouds, and the sun smiling. <laughs> yeah, because I remember the old tales my mom was reading me. Especially I remember one from the 70s called the five fabulous tales where everybody was smiling almost all the time. I clean a bit the final sketch and refine some minor things. For example, I test if I can flip the bird, but I prefer to make it smaller and place him in the right side. Now I start with the color stage. I use three greens from the default palette in Krita. Green is full of energy 
and is calming at the same time and less for me. I want to keep everything simple. We will see how it turns at the end. The blue for the sky is a mixed blue with the hue variation. I love that for backgrounds and I explained that in the last video. So far, are you liking this video? Do you have suggestions for upcoming videos? Please let me know in the comments. The sun is not too detailed because I want to keep it simple. I use a dust brush to create like splats to make it a bit brighter, like shining but not realistically. I colorize a bit the outline and done. The clouds, oh my, please don't detail them too much, Raymond, <laughs> because I love clouds. Now I go to detail the birth. I decide to use purple and orange and yellow, a very vibrant combo. And now is the time for the birth. I want to paint not the common birth, but more original, more imaginary. He's traveling for a uh, distant country and he suddenly finds this little girl sketching his lovely friend. Now I continue with the dog, and I want for him brownish colors. But as you can see, I leave some areas without painting, imitating how the kids paint. And some brush strokes are not following the old lines. This way the painting breathes with the paper texture. I love that patch in the eye. He is a brave dog, but also a good dog because he is waiting, remember? I follow the same idea I used for the grass. I choose three colors for the dog and then I test some combinations until I find what I like. I detail a bit and add more texture if needed. Finally, I will remove all the color patches. Now it's time for her. As you can see, I paint in the same childish style. As I love the nature, I think being near the grass, almost touching it, is awesome experience. When I was younger, I was scared about ants, worms, and more things. <laughs> and now it's different. Well, only one insect scares me. Can you guess which one? I detail her clothes and shoes and I start to think about the finished look. Objects like the box containing crayons are important and in the final image is more obvious. I add some color to the dog sketch and I put some crayons to make the scene more messy. I decide to give a more defined outline style. I would like to see picture from you, because these brushes were designed for that. A small set that covers, uh, I think, honestly, a lot of creative possibilities. And I am creating more tips for the future, so if you paint something, just let me know or publish it in the critaartist.org. I am usually around there. The sketch must be really fast to avoid detailing. Only a couple of strokes and then. Let's go with the dog. I need to outline him, but not perfectly, keeping his personality. The necklace is purple. Do you like it? As I am detailing the dog, I'm thinking about what I'm going to do with the background or the sky. Do I need more detail, really? As it is a personal work for demo, I don't have a brief or a style guide, but anyway, I have a very clear in my mind what I want to achieve with this picture. So if I feel something like, mm, I don't know if this work, then I remove it or change it. 
Now I'm going to destroy my picture a bit, smudging some areas. Not everything, but just a bit. That gives me the sense of not perfect picture. It's like smudging with the finger here and there as we did when we were kids. I outline more my bird and that is a mistake, so I will fix it later. It's a mistake because it is contrasting too much with the sky and the outline is too much. Now it's time to reinforce the greens in the background. And why not? We are resting, so I'm going to add some flowers in the grass fields. And I'm going to add not only white flowers, but blue flowers, because this way we have more energy. I love daisy flowers. They are small, but they get our attention. And now I add more details overall the image. A bit of a sparkling in her cheeks and more sketchy strokes. So what do you think? I hope you like it. And remember, Krita is a free program, so you can download and also support it. If you have enjoyed the video and want to stay tuned to receive notifications, activate the bell. Enjoy your life as much as you can and take care of your beloved ones. Pay attention because art is everywhere. It's in the flowers, in your smiling face, in the sky and the sun. Take care and see you next time. Bye.